Thanks for tuning in to my playthrough of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. It's an honor to do a playthrough of a mainline Pokemon game for your enjoyment, so kick back, relax, and have a great day. All right, I got my Pokemon Go app locked and loaded, and I want to transfer some Pokemans, and oh, there's a bunch of Gen 1 stuff, actually. There's a, uh, a Magnemite. There's, Magne there's a, a, a Cubone, so let me just, just capture this guy real quick here, just so I can transfer him right into the game. What's going on, everybody? My name is Brian Bricks O'Brien, Brian Saviano. You already know. So I, I, I guess I haven't even walked forward from the last episode we did, but it looks like a Pokestop. So you know what? I did catch that Magnemite. And the Go Park Complex. Hello. Howdy. Welcome to the Go Complex. What would you like to do? Um, and hear explanations, because I have no idea how this works. Uh, about... Uh, go about everything. Tell me everything. So you can bring your Pokemon from Pokemon Go to the Go Park. First, go to Options Main Menu. Yes, I know. I did that. And then he wants to send. It cannot be sent back to Pokemon Go. Would you like to know uh, the Go Park Complex? You'll find Pokemon brought from Pokemon Go in the Go Park. Go and speak to Pokemon to try and catch it and move to a different Go Park. Once you catch a Pokemon in a Go Park, you will not be able to return it to a Go Park. If you want to leave. Okay, cool. So, I think we just walk up and go? Or, uh, enter a go park. No, bring Pokemon? Go park one? Okay. So, alright. Um, uh, yep, okay. So, a game specific thing. You can transfer 50 Pokemon. Okay, so, do I need Bluetooth on? I'm just going to activate Bluetooth just for the sake of it. I don't think that actually matters, but sure. Uh, let me go to Poker Man, and I click the switch icon. Does that do anything? Ooh, I can select him. Uh, so let's see here. All Actually, so I'll do one of each starter. Okay, you can't see it on screen. You can actually you can see what I'm doing right here. You, it's not a screen capture thing, but I'm going to select I know what we don't have. You can do the Alolan forms of Pokemon as well. Um... We don't have a Raichu. Alolan Raichu. I got that in a raid. That's good. Um, uh, the, the the blue Sand Slash, Alolan Sand Slash, and Sand True. Nido King and Queen. Um, uh, Alolan Nine Tails is dope. Nine Tails is dope. Uh, let's see. Um, Alolan Diglett. Yeah, I want. Actually, I want that because I can get an Alolan Doug Trio, which is exactly what I want. Um, and this is a great way to get the Pokemon in the game and, and transfer them that way. Uh, Alakazam, Poliwrath, Machamp. Um, I have 19 selected so far. The Alolan um, Geodude Graveler, which one of them, the Graveler, is named Oliver A. After a very nice fan that I met in real life. So, Oliver, your Pokemon's getting transferred into my game, just like I said it would. So, there you go. Uh, powerful Magnemites here, but what I want to keep to get a... Um, What's it called? A uh, Magna Zone from Gen uh, 4. Uh, no Alolan Muck. I do have a Gengar, but that's pretty powerful. Now let's do it. Let's transfer. Alolan Executor. Uh, let's see. Lickitung. No, I'll keep... Yeah, I'll transfer Lickitung. Seedra Horsey. Ah, la, 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 Lloyd. Ooh, I could transfer Gyarados, but that... Let's see, Gyarados. I don't know about that. It's my most powerful one in the game. We'll see. Lots of Eevee. Tons and tons of Eevee. So I'm going to transfer a couple of those. But I do want them for in the game, too. Another Porygon. Uh, Ammonite. Kabutops. And Dratini. What a squad. 40. Okay. So I do want to transfer all those. It's going to happen. So now it's searching. Will it actually work? Brian Saviano's account has been found. Would you like to receive? Yeah, I would. Wow, that's quick. Okay, so all those Pokemon are going away from my Pokemon Go. They're going into this game. It's done. 40 are there. And I think, hopefully, the 40 are going to stay there until I capture all of them. Why don't I go see how things go in the Go Park? Okay, cool. What would you like to do? Uh, enter a Go Park. And Go Park number one. Okay, so you can transfer more Pokemon. Ooh, and I got a bonus of 100 XP. And a mystery box. A mystery box is what I got. Look at that. Boom. So the mystery box, I believe, is how you get the Pokemon Meltan. So let me just go through this on Go. You can get this on your phones as well. Open the mystery box in your bag for a mysterious effect. 
Uh, I should do that now. We can already see the Pokemon that are up there. Alone the Ninetales. Shout out to all them. Um, hmm. Let me do that. Um, wait, hold on. Let me see what this does. Because I, I want to focus on one thing. A mysterious old box. Opening it causes a certain Pokemon to appear for a limited time. So, basically it's either I do that now or I do it later and bring Meltan into the game later. So, I'm going to do this later and focus on actually capturing the Pokemon here first. Because that's clearly more interesting than me doing it on my phone and transferring the Meltan and doing the thing. So, let's see how many... Oh, we can zoom? Um, wait, so does it give me a certain amount of... Well, look at all the Pokemon here. All, all, all the cool Pokemon. So let's go for... Oh, this is sweet. This is so cool. Ooh, all the good stuff. We got all the good stuff, baby. Yeah, this is all the real cool stuff. Okay, so we'll go for Alolan Executor just because he's obnoxiously huge. So we're going to catch you, CP2200. If you catch a Pokemon in the Go Park, the Pokemon's information will be changed when Go. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Now, does it give me, like, Safari Balls or is it my actual Pokeballs? Like... Um, no, it's the actual ones that I have. Okay, so we are going to need to go and get more Pokeballs. A ton more, actually, because I don't want to mess this up. Or can I not activate two-player? I cannot activate two-player. Huh, interesting. Okay, so... Oh, that's... <laughs> this is tough. This is going to be bad. Okay, um... Who? How? Okay. Work? 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 Oh, come on. Really? You obnoxiously large tree? Come on. Go. Ooh. Okay, I don't know how I could possibly get that to be the perfect throw, but all right, please. Oh, come on. Just work. Just please work. Um, there. That is way too far. How am I supposed to do this? Um, look, the, the Pokeballs are going into infinity and beyond. You see how far they're going? Jeez. What am I supposed to do? Go. Look at... Oh, okay. That's not too bad. I don't think that's too bad. Uh... Work? Come on. Really? And I can't use two-player? But can they run away? I don't think they can run away. And never mind. They were... <laughs> Did it run away forever? No. Okay. So it's just a, a limited time thing. All right. So... How about we go for something a bit more easy, like Squirtle. Hi, Squirtle. We'll go for you. Cool. So, hopefully this will not be as difficult here. Actually, it is. It's red. Awesome. And then, what? why did that happen? Come on. Go. There we go. Please work. Or are they meant to all be this difficult? Maybe they are. But that one was done on the, the first ball we tried. So... This is a very easy way for me to complete my Pokedex because I basically said to all my friends, and you can connect multiple Pokemon Go accounts too. Like, I need to complete the 151, so this is super easy. And this is super fun. So let's see here. Uh, Machamp I don't have in the Pokedex, so we'll go for you. You're a CP of 584. Really weak Machamp overall, actually. Very, very weak. Um, let's see here. But they all have the same likelihood of capture here it all being super deep red and very erratic with their movements i can see here so why did it go that far i have no idea come on really um no go this way so why is this happening go this way no mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. come on even more there we go jeez why did it take that many throws to get the aim right? Oh, come on, really? All right, um, just aim properly. That could have been perfect, really. That should have been perfect, please? Yes, thank you, okay. So if I transferred all the Pokemon that I had from the original 151 from my Pokemon Go account, we would have almost the entire thing complete. Like, once we get these 40, which I don't know if I will do all 40 in this episode. This whole episode is going to be about capturing the GOAT Pokemon because this is just going to take as much as it it's going to take a while. Uh, I'm going to go for the Alolan Sand Slash just because he's cool looking. Ooh! Looks so cool. So, so cool. And, um, 
you have to find it in Go in order to transfer it into this game. So that's what makes it even that more special. Um, that should have been an excellent, but okay. Um, I'm probably going to go out and buy more Pokeballs because now that we earned a little bit more money from the previous trainers, we should have a good amount. And I want to capture everything in a normal Pokeball if I can. And I'm wondering if we can still do the Power of Two thing just to reinforce it and just to show you guys and girls even more so that it does work. So, and imagine if you had like a thousand different Pikachu or like like 50 Pikachu or 30. Like, that'd be crazy. The sand slashes form after adaptation to a frigid environment. The cold air emitted by its body sharpens its icy spikes. So it does have a different Pokedex entry than the normal sand slash, because obviously the normal sand slash wouldn't have that exact same entry here. Yeah, you can't do can't do two player. Interesting. So we have Raichu. Um, really a lot of room for all these Pokemon to just hang out at right now. Okay. A lot of them are all cuddled up in the same area. Slow bro. Slow bro. Oh, and I, you can actually see the the shell that was meant to be a Pokemon a while ago nibbling at its tail. Interesting. That's really cool. I like that a lot, actually. Uh, so let's see here. Um, go for it. And that's a great... Yeah, that, that doesn't help it not being um, two-player because you can't... You can't. It doesn't allow you to um, use multiple people. Thankfully, that was an excellent and get better catch rates. So they probably did that very intentionally to not make it super easy to capture every single thing. And no matter what the CP level of the Pokemon is, everything is probably going to be the same, uh, the same difficulty, the same very dark red of it. So, lives lazily by the sea. If a shelter on its tail comes off, it becomes a slow poke again. Interesting. Did not know it can actually reverse its form. Very interesting indeed. So, uh, we'll go for Gengar, just to keep it a little spicy with this, uh, very, very tough Pokemon. Very cool Pokemon. Very useful Pokemon. Uh, 2300 CP here, and that would have been perfect for a throw, but I'm just a dummy. Um, can we get this perfect shot here? And that's literally the opposite of perfect, right? Literally the opposite. That's actually a hot garbage, please. And why did it get thrown to South Guam? All right, come on, Brian. We're not using Master Ball, not not here. But I don't think you can trans. I don't know if you can transfer Mewtwo. I wouldn't know because I don't have a Mewtwo in game. But why won't you work? Go here, do the thing. Thank you. Um, I know you cannot transfer Mew. They make you get that in the Pokeball. So, um, you know what I kind of want to do is grab normal Pokeballs, but. Oh, that, that should have been an excellent, really? That should have been an excellent. Come on. Come on. I'm going to go get normal Pokeballs because I think we can get out of here and come back and it's fine. So we can even transfer some more stuff too. So let me go do that real quick and then we'll uh, we'll head out of here. So we will uh, return to the front desk. Oh, wait. Yes, I do want to save. So it can save um, what we did capture. And yeah, I believe we can go back. So let's go buy some Pokeballs and go back. Okay, this Alolan Executor is on the list here. I need him first. I, I'm, I got a Vendetta. I'm out for blood here. Come on. Let's go, buddy. I want you. No. We're going with the regulars. The 200 regulars. Come on. Ooh. Where is that going? Where did it go? Why is it going so far? I don't know. Uh, okay. And come on. Just work. Thank you. Like, that is obscenely far. An obscenely far Pokeball to throw. Please work. No, come on. You massive oversized plant that doesn't have any right to exist. Why? Why would anyone think to have you be a Pokemon? I don't know. Come on. Come on. Why is it going that way? And that way? Please. There's no way I can aim that far to get a perfect throw. Please just work. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's been my pleasure and honor. There we go. Great. That's our first executor. But also. So, the strong sunlight of the Alola region has awakened the power hidden within Execute. This is the result. This is the result. That's it. There you go. 
So, um, I don't believe we can check the levels of the Pokemon. So, uh, we'll do that afterward because the C like in Pokemon Go, there is no level for each of the Pokemon. It's just literally just the CP. So you're basically just going with that. You're trying to figure out what level relatively everything is based on the CP in Pokemon Go, but there isn't an actual ratio. So I'm curious to see like if I transfer my Gyarados. My Gyarados is 2,823 CP in Pokemon Go. So how much does that actually equate to in Pokemon Let's Go? I'm curious because it's a totally different system. Like it factors in CP and levels in this game. It lives on mountains perpetually covered in snow and is revered as a deity incarnate. It appears draped in a blizzard. Very beautiful looking Pokemon. I would love to have an Alolan Ninetales if um, I were a very wealthy uh, Pokemon trainer. Like just a very elegant looking Pokemon, you know, to, to sit outside of my igloo and play in the snow all the time. Which is where I would not necessarily be, but you get the idea. Um, let's go over here, and thank you, it's a great. And trying to catch a Gengar in the actual game would probably be just as difficult too, and especially trying to chain them. I'm just trying to think, like, if you wanted to capture a ton of Magnemite and then try to chain for a... Oh no, that doesn't work in, in Pokemon Go, like, chaining and all that thing. That isn't actually a thing. So, let's see here. We'll go this way. Really? Go. No, I want you to go this way. Why does it keep going centered? Go this way. There it is. A little bit more accurate there. Go that way. Okay. Close enough. Close enough. Close enough. Close enough. Nope, not close enough. Come on, let's get the chant going. Everyone at home. Close enough. I can hear you all, just like Dora. I can hear you. Close enough. Close. Nope. Ah, it's like this should be the sport people watch, not not Madden or you know, MLB, it's this. Can Brian actually get the Pokemon, the Pokemon in the ball and do the thing? Most likely no. Come on. Nope. You missed. Come on. We're going after Oliver A next. I need to not go after a super power, a super OP Pokemon like Gengar. Come on. Get inside the Pokeball. I know I'm wasting Pokeballs. It's fine. Come on. Why did it go to Venezuela? Go. Why did it run away? You're not going anywhere. You're still in the park. You literally are right there. Hi, Oliver. Let's go after you and save you from the clutches of this Pokemon Go park and, and do the thing. Come on. I wonder if my friend Matt, who is he's very uh, skilled in Pokemon in general, I wonder if he will trade me some, uh, some Alolan Pokemon. There's a couple variants I don't have in uh, Pokemon Go that I think he would be willing to help me with. Uh, one of them is Marowak. I hope he has a spare Alolan Marowak that's not very powerful that he can trade to me because you only get Alolan Marowak from a raid, which you need, you know, 10 people to defeat the Alolan Marowak. And uh, I never have 10 people with me who play Pokemon Go to actually get it done, except the one time we were at an Applebee's and the raid was an Alolan Raichu. And we got that, which is the only reason why I had that. We were at dinner, and um, there was my group of friends and another group of people. We were all playing Pokemon Go. We're all nerds, so we were like, "All right, let's do a raid and whatever, pop up a lure and do that whole thing." Um, but typically, yeah, I never have enough people to complete a raid with. Please work. Thank you. Oliver has been captured. <laughs> there you go. Caught a Graveler. And I don't believe there's any way for you to get the Alolan variants in this game. You have to transfer them from Go, which is interesting. And I like that there's a bit of ex exclusivity in that regard. When it comes rolling down a mountain path, anything in its way gets zapped by electricity and sent flying. So Graveler goes from a rock ground type to a rock electric type, which is a lot more helpful and a lot more usable. And the evolved form of that Graveler, what he looks like, is really cool too is super super cool so hopefully we can uh i think we can trade him so basically my friend matt is gonna be uh oh, he looks like an igloo he looks like an igloo when he spins that's adorable that is 
adorable. And I want a hundred of them. How? That is amazing. Can that be the next Build-A-Bear flush? I will gladly buy it. With a discount. Not full price. I get it a couple bucks off. But that is adorable. That is absolutely adorable. And I've never seen that before. I love that much more than I think anyone reasonably should. That is amazing. That is fantastic. Please get in the ball. Nope, you're not going to. Okay. I want you to be my new best friend besides Piplup, the homie Piplup right here. No, Piplup's still my boy. But Alolan Sands true. Close second. Come on. Come on. He looks like an igloo. It's so cute. It's so cute. Come on, buddy. We got this. We got this. Come on. It's close enough. Clo close enough. Close enough. Come on. Excellent. Come on. Come on. Go, go. Oh, I want the Alolan Muck. Alolan Muck and Alolan Grimer. Those are really cool, too. The, the particle effects of them. They look like toxic sludge. Those are really cool. But we got Sandshrew. That's good. So that's a level 20. So 700 CP is about level 20. So you can base everything really around that. And I should have been paying attention earlier to see um, what the other levels of Pokemon were. So let me see a higher level Pokemon here. Well, Gengar is a higher level. We'll try it again. So let's see what's see. Oh, it shows the information on the right, doesn't it? Am I just a dummy? No, it just shows. Okay, so 2300 CP. Let's see if, you know, I, I'm assuming level 60, maybe, depending on, or just based off of what it was before. Um, yeah, you're going to go that way. Yeah, Goomba. Really? You're going to swat it away from me? Go. Get inside the ball. Stay. Close. See. <sighs> Come on. Close. Ah, that should have been an excellent, really. Close enough. Close enough. Close enough. Yes! There we go. Mmm. Take that, Gengar. So what level are you? Level 30? Really? All that trouble for a level 30 Gengar? Wow, all right. Sure, so. Uh, a Gengar is close by if you feel a sudden chill. It may be trying to lay a curse on you. <laughs> All right, Alolan Raichu is next, because Alolan Raichu is dope looking. It just looks really cool. So, uh, oh, I got it in Nashua, New Hampshire. That's, that's the one. I went to an anime convention, which was awful, but then I got, I got the Alolan Raichu at an Applebee's. How were you so hard to catch? Oh, wow. Please work. Please work. Close enough. Close. Oh. Come on. Come on, Nashua, New Hampshire, Raichu. Let's go. Can't be that much more difficult. That weekend was difficult enough for me. Don't make it more difficult by not getting in the ball. Get in the ball. Get in the ball. Get in the ball. Please. Go. My Boston accent is coming out. Just get in the ball, kid. Come on. Just get inside the Pokeball. Do the thing. Come on, kid. Come on. Park the car in the garden yard. It's <laughs> Park the car in the garden yard. No one from Boston ever says that, by the way. Actually, that's a lie. We do. Some, sometimes, when it's necessary. There we go. Now, if I had to use Pikachu, I would have much preferred the Alolan Pikachu. If I were playing Eevee version, I probably would have chosen Alolan Pikachu, but this is definitely going to be my main version of the game. And then if we do use... Um, you know, let's go Eevee. We're not going to do any of the Go Pokemon in that game. We're going to keep it to this version of the, the game here. Um, the user changes its type to become the same type at, at the, and as a move at the top of the list of its... That's very interesting. I don't want to get rid of that. Um, that's interesting, too. Barrier. Yeah, we don't care about that, right? That's fine. I want a powerful Porygon, but I don't know if I'm going to use Porygon. Um... Because, I mean, this is a cool team right here. But Porygon's already a normal type, but whatever. It loves pancakes with a secret Alolan recipe. Some wonder whether that's a, re a recipe that holds the key to this Pokemon's evolution. Why does it involve pancakes? Why? Doesn't make sense. Pancakes do not have the ability to... Well, they do have the ability to change you as a person as you exist. But not to the point of having Pokemon that evolve. Alright? 
It loves pancakes prepared with a secret Alolan recipe. Doesn't make a lick of sense. But whatever. YOLO. All right? Whatever. It's fine. It's all good. So uh, let's get just a couple more. Just a couple more of the interesting ones. Dratini. Yes. Oh, so Dratini I do want to use. I actually want to use Dratini and have that be in my party. Like, I want that. That was going to be our final Pokemon that we get. So hopefully this Dratini here uh, is a decent one and we can actually use it because Dragonite is the Pokemon you get at the end of it. You know, that's the final evolution. And so if we do more, tr you know, all these battles we do, it's just sharing the EXP from our super overpowered team as it is. And it's only a 559 Dratini. So it's not, uh, you're gonna run away, really? Um, which running away doesn't do anything, but whatever. Um, this Dratini will actually be, you know, low enough level that we can raise it and it'll be like our Dratini. It's not just we catch a Dragonite and that's it, you know? Um, let's see here. Why, I still can't get this down. Go this way. No. Why does it... Like, it looks opposite on your screen, but it's the same... Go. Why? Ugh. Go that way. Oh, mamma mia. Come on. Go. Pokemon, go. Closey. That should be a shirt, too. Closey. Ugh. Nope. This is... I, I, I think... Uh, am I doing this that wrong here? I'm like, fur, fur, fur. come on, <laughs> you stupid Dratini. There we go. We got a nice, great, close enough. Ah, uh, I want the regular Pokeball. I know I'm making this harder on myself, but I want the regular Pokeball. I just want it. And uh, blah, 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 blah. go. Nope. This way. Who? There we go. Nice. Dratini would be hard to catch either way. Dratini is a very hard Pokemon to catch. It's a very rare Pokemon in general. So, excellent. Okay. Why can't I use the power of two right now? I really just want to use that and get it over with. And please work. Why not? Why not? Please. Why not? Just go. And you know what would be really cool? No, because I feel like the, Dr the Gyarados is not... Hold on. Okay, good. Um, if the Gengar was a level 20 and that was 2300 cp the gyarados i have in pokemon go is 2800 cp which it's more valuable to me being in pokemon go than it would be being in this game so i don't know if i'm going to transfer the gyarados long thought to be a myth this pokemon's existence was only recently confirmed by a fisherman who caught one and me who caught it literally right now so there's obviously other pokemon in here i'm going to go and get these guys eventually probably off camera um, and then there's other Pokemon I do want to transfer that I'm going to do off camera as well. But that's how the Pokemon Go Park works, which is awesome. So we're going to save. And now we're going to get out of here. So uh, return to front desk. Uh, we just saved, but sure, whatever. Um, and we'll take it from there. So I believe Fuchsia City does have a gym, which none of these Pokemon are usable right now for our party for a gym or anything like that. Uh, we're going to toss Dratini in our party and take it from there. And I'm assuming, well, so this used to be the, the Safari Zone, from what I gather, because it says the Safari Park that on that little picket sign up there uh, from before. So, let's see here. Let's just make sure. Is there any, is there a gym here? If not, then we're just going to peace out and whatever. Um, I'm assuming because there's a, there's a Safari Zone, then no. Uh, so, no, because it would list it on there, the Pokemon Gym. And then, there is, oh my, I just can't read because I'm dumb. So what we're going to do is go to the gym and um, not lift some weights because that's what require that's what effort is. But we're going to go to the gym, defeat the gym leader, and figure out how to get to the Seafoam Islands because I believe that's what we have to do next to continue our adventure. So I want to thank you guys and girls for listening, watching, and tuning in. We haven't talked to Ezra in a while, so ooh, that's a cool <laughs> started moving energetically. Uh, I want to thank you all for tuning in and doing that whole thing. I'll see you lovely people of the internet next time for more Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu on the Nintendo Switch. See you next time. Bye.